Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Khadija and you've logged on to Beautifully Slay. If you're coming here for the first time, I want to say welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, I want to say welcome back. I'm glad you liked my previous videos. Keep on coming. So, I did my makeup earlier and I literally have my makeup on all day. I went on the road, I did everything I needed to do and I'm about to go shower and go to bed. So. I'm gonna give you like a simple trick or a tip that is an easy makeup removal tip because like sometimes I can't bother like you be using like six packs and seven packs or seven strips of wipes and you could be using the rose hip micellar water like for real I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna show you like the difference because sometimes you don't really know that the wipes don't get rid of everything. I use the wipes after I use my micellar water. So I'm gonna show you how to remove your makeup in two simple steps for real. So let's go. Uh, so I got me some Swiss Pearls cotton round premium exfoliation cottons and you can get them at Walmart, Target, dollar store Ross you can get them everywhere guys so I'm gonna show you exactly how I really remove my makeup when I put it on because it don't come off easily using water so this is the Azana spa rose hip this is our water and I'm gonna apply it to the cotton so let me open it and this is not just for like makeup removal purposes. This is to like boost your skin's radiance for real. And I'm telling you, if you have dry skin, this is for you. Like you wash your face and you just apply it with your cotton or with your sponge, whatever you choose to use, apply it, but don't use your hands, you get me? It's better to like put it on something. But if you have dry skin, like this is it for you. Because I'm telling you, like it's winter time and my skin tends to get really, really dry during winter. And this helps my face. Like it leaves a nice sheen on your face. It's not oily and it's good for all skin. It's perfect for all skin. If you have sensitive skin, all you gotta do is wash it off after you use it but if you have skin like mine that is not so sensitive or if you have dry skin you can actually leave it on so you have the option if you have sensitive skin go ahead wash it off it will still have the same effect you'll still see that glow behind your face but you just gotta wash it off to protect your skin right but this right here is the perfect cleanser and it makes your skin feel so soft like where where else can you get all of those nowhere else so good cleanser softens your skin it provides a little sheen it's not too oily so if you have dry skin this is perfect for you it is gentle it doesn't feel like you know when you lotion i don't know if you ever put lotion on your face how it feels like it doesn't feel like that it doesn't feel like anything's on your skin it just feels all natural so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I use it to take off my makeup and also I'm gonna show you how I do my nightly routine before I go to bed wash my face da, 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 da. and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the cotton right here if you squeeze it it's gonna go so what I normally do is like put it on it eventually it will get all over so i'm going to show you the difference between this and the wipes so let me try and yeah so let me put you up right here so basically what i'm going to do in no random order first let me take out these lashes let me take off my lashes so i'm going to put my lashes here Then I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. So 
so look at it and it's actually coming up i'm going to show you the difference between this and the actual makeup remover wipes like i've been using like 10 of the makeup remover towels and I, all i needed was like one of this so you can see the difference already just wipe your face no particular way you wipe your face how you want to wipe your face i'm doing it my way okay so i'm gonna show you on one side how i remove it using the micellar water and i'm gonna show you on the other side how i remove it using the makeup remover wipes and then I know you're gonna have to make the big decision but believe me it will be worth it like for real for real so this is what it looks like and <laughs> I got some under my neck but no worries I'm gonna go ahead and do this okay guys so you can already see like the difference you can see the difference like you just wipe it off and normally it takes me like three wipes to get rid of my eyebrows especially when i use a pencil if i use like the gel it takes me like four but um when i use the pencil it takes three wipes but it, it takes a lot of hard work to like get it off but with the micellar water it's totally different like for real i'm going to show you how to remove it like look i'm not even putting a lot on it i'm just going to go ahead and do this look at that like for real look at that and another problem i always have when i'm like taking off my um makeup is to get rid of the eyeliner that i use and the mascara and when i'm using the rose hip micellar water it's like you just sit do like this and everything comes out comes off on the cotton yeah for real like it's worth it i paid probably four dollars let me see how much i paid for it yeah, I paid four ninety nine. I got it in Ross. There it is, four ninety nine. It's not expensive, guys, and it's multi beneficial. You can use it to do a lot of stuff. And if you have a skincare routine, you might want to add this to your routine because it actually works. I'm not lying to you. I'm showing you right here, right now. So there we go. I'll be crying guys so let me show you like what it looks like when I use the micellar water so now I'm gonna go ahead and use the, the makeup remover wipes and show you so this one is a good one but I used to have um I think it was also a Neutrogena brand, but it wasn't as good as this one. I had to change it, mainly for the purpose that I told you about, but um, I'm gonna, this is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Toilets, and this is what it looks like. I think you get like three for $2 or a $1 something, but they're in Walmart, and that's where I got mine. So. You saw how the micellar water took off everything at once. Look at the difference. You see that? And I did apply the same amount of pressure that I did over here. But look at this. My eyebrow came off clean as a whistle when I used it. And look at this. I gotta apply pressure to take this off. And even then, it's not coming off. For real and it, one thing that i hate too it leaves my skin burning when i use it like it gets so red and burn so you see how it gets red over here look at my face 
it's like half brown, half brown, half black. All right, so I showed you what it looked like, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the micellar water to get rid of it. I just wanted to show you the difference. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and invest in one of these because you won't be wasting your money. It's multi beneficial and it's worth it. Like I said, I paid like $4, $4.99 in Ross to get one of these and it's multi beneficial. And if you have a skincare routine, this is perfect for you. I don't have a skincare routine. I just go with the flow of my skin sometimes. Like right now, my skin is basically at its best. Like right now, I'm not lying. Normally, I get weird breakouts, like weird breakouts, especially when I eat sweets. But I'll just get some random dark spots out of nowhere. Like I go to bed, I wake up, I see like four dark spots or four bumps, four pimples in my face. That's just how it is. And I'll be trying to figure out what happened during the night. What did I do while I was sleeping that gave me all those pimples? All right, guys, so this is what my face looks like. <laughs> like for real. This is what my face looks like. I hate using cotton, but this one is not so bad. Like it works perfectly with the micellar water. But um, yeah, so basically this is all you need when you're removing your makeup. Nightly like face wash routine. And so, I use my African black soap to wash my face. Don't pay this any mind. I do have one that I'm using, but it's like this. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. You can get it for like $30. So this is the African black soap. And I use Neutrogena Deep Clean to cleanse my face. It's like a facial cleanser. Yep, and it's good for oily skin too. So after I use my soap, then my facial cleanser, I got this, oh my God, this body serum from Madame Glow. And this is perfect. So you can go and check them out, Madam Glow. And this serum is one of the best I've had. It's not oily and it smells so good, like for real. I'm not lying. Then after I go through all of those steps, I go in back. I use my rose hip micellar water and I don't have like sensitive skin so I leave it on and it gives it that nice sheen a nice radiant glow that you're looking for and that's basically it so a lot of persons have been asking me like what's your skincare routine and whatever blah 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 that is it so you can invest in one of these African black soap and if you don't or if you can't get the Madame Glow serum body oil you can get this and it'll work just fine okay so you can get your Neutrogena deep clean facial cleanser cleanser and your rose hip micellar water this and this are like the two essentials like for real this is working on the dark spots so I tell you I get like random pimples like out of nowhere this get rid of gets rid of them and this this so this tend to leave your face a little bit dry so that is where this comes in the rose hip water that's when you use your rose hip water like for real okay guys so i just finished washing my face i used the black the african black soap 
and the cleanser and I'm just gonna go ahead and and I'm just gonna go ahead and add the serum so you do like this and then I'm gonna use the um, micellar water a little bit and you're gonna see the difference like in my face if you see it starting getting brown looking don't think I didn't shower good it's just the makeup in the wig in the lace Okay guys, so this is the finished product. See, my face is not too dry. That's just the cutting right there. My face is like super soft and smooth. It's not too oily, it's not oily. And it's full of cotton, but um, you can use sponge as I said. So this is my face my nightly routine now until next time guys see you in my next video